Welcome to the Quiz the Music Man podcast. My name's Tony Underwood, and we're going to answer the question of how do I get started? How do I get started in what? Well, in anything. Uh, how do I get started in music as, uh, as recreation, as a... Uh, cameras over here. How do I get started as a profession? How do I get started in anything that I want to do? How do I figure that out? I've got five ways of doing that, plus I'm going to give you a little bonus. I'm going to give you a little bonus at the end that uh, would make it six. Uh, so who am I? I'm Tony Underwood, and I've been involved in music all my life, although I have had a varied career. I've been in construction, real estate. Uh, a lot of uh, different business things. I was in appraising. Uh, I worked for banks, mortgage companies, and also uh, worked as music director and choir director of uh, churches. And now I own my own uh, businesses. Uh, I have a music school. We teach all types of music lessons, different instruments, group lessons. We teach acting, musical theater, and also have a dance studio. And I also write, record, and market my own music, which you can find everywhere. You can find on this YouTube channel, on Spotify, everywhere you can stream music. You can buy it, although I don't know if people buy music anymore. You can do that. Uh, and I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitch, and Twitter. So here we are, though. We're talking a little bit today, uh, a lot of times in my... Uh, my students and other people want to know how they get started in things. And this can apply to anything. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about music. And uh, the music industry today is a lot different than it was in just the recent past. Today, the music industry, you can pretty much uh, do things your own way. Uh, market yourself, uh, do everything from the comfort of your home, which is great because with coronavirus we're all kind of locked down. But it's a great way to start. And I'm going to give you five ways to do that. Here's the first thing. Join a class. Take some lessons. Get some tutoring. Meet with people who are like-minded. Look on a Facebook group. Uh, poll the people you're already there at your work. Uh, if you don't want them to know, that's okay. Uh, get on uh, Facebook and get a Facebook group, Instagram group, uh, go on YouTube. You can search your city directories, meetups, uh, a lot of different places. People who are like-minded, uh, meet with them, see what they're doing, make plans together, get yourself uh, some learning, educate yourself. Uh, go talk to people that, uh, that do this and ask them about it. Go talk to friends of people that did this or people who maybe support group like attorneys or things and ask them about it. And you know you might get a lot of individual stories that are good, bad, or ugly, or all three, but at least you'll figure out a little bit about what that is. That's the biggest failing I see in music and just about everything else. People want to do something, but they're not doing it. So get out there if you want to be a singer, sing. Uh, if you want to be uh, a basketball player, play basketball. If you want to be a, a medical doctor, read about medicine, go meet doctors, go where the doctors are and talk to them and, and certain things. Uh, so here's the second thing you can do, and that is to tell everyone who will listen. Uh, let them know what you're doing. Let them know why you're doing it. Ask their advice. Now take their advice with a grain of salt because a lot of people are never going to step out of their comfort zone. Uh, but that's something you can use to your advantage. Talk to your relatives, your friends, uh, people in the community, these people you're going to meet. Uh, uh, let them know what your plans are. Uh, make your plans. Make in-depth plans. And let everybody know about it. Talk to them about it. Because you see, uh, the more you talk about it to other people, the more it empowers you to do it as well. The third thing kind of goes with the second, and that's announced to the world what you're doing. So once you're uh, involved in your lessons, once you have some songs up, let's say, uh, get on YouTube and start letting them know what you're doing. Get a, I, would, I would tell everybody, if you're starting a business, if you're starting a career, uh, whatever, I would start with social media. 
I would get on social media, I would let them know your plans, I would start giving them content. Content about how you're preparing. Uh, if you're taking lessons, let them know about the lessons. If you're uh, learning about architecture, let them know about that. If you're meeting with a group of people who are uh, you know, going to go to Africa and uh, work uh, uh, with uh, the different uh, organizations, uh, charity organizations, let them know about it. Uh, get out on social media, uh, like other people like that, engage them in social media. Uh, see what they're doing, comment on what they're doing, and do this in a way that's, uh, that's real. Don't just give it lip service. Make sure it's something you really enjoy, that you're into, and you can engage with these people and let them know about what you're doing. You can find out where they go, and you can go to those places. Uh, if you want to be a musician, I would go to all the open mics and watch. I would go to all the pubs, uh, sports bars where people are playing. Uh, talk to the crowd before the before they go on. Go around and talk to the crowd. Hi, I'm Tony Underwood, and I'm uh, going to be uh, working on a career as a musician. Uh, tell me a little bit about why you come here. What would make you want to come and see a musician? What is it about this these people that you like? How long have you known them? How do you follow them? Uh, talk to them a little bit, and uh, uh, you know you're you're telling people, but you're also talking to them a little bit too. Uh, the fourth thing you need to do is you need to really get involved with a buddy or a core group. Now this goes beyond just the meetups and the uh, basic groups you might meet at a library or a school or these days you might meet on FaceTime or something like that. This is a core group of people that are really as committed as you are. And let me share with you what the word committed means. Uh, committed means you give up something else to do this. You sacrifice other things. Uh, if you're taking music lessons, you don't go to soccer or uh, don't work on your homework instead of your music lesson. You go to your music lesson. Now, do you not do your homework? Well, no. But you have to plan your life. You have to put priorities. If it's not a big priority to you, you're never going to be good at it. Uh, and that goes for anything you do in a sport. Uh, uh, you know, you have to be the one that uh, uh, people say, oh yeah, that's the singer, that's the basketball player, that's the soccer player, that's the kid, I knew he was going to be a doctor, he always ran around with a stethoscope. When he was a little kid, he had a little white coat on, listening to everybody's heartbeat, uh, always showing me pictures of anatomy, and always uh, taking classes that had to do with that. Uh, and you can do that in your buddy system, uh, if you work out at the gym, get your buddy to go and meet you there, because uh, if that way, if you don't feel like going that day, you say, "Oh, I'm gonna have to go." My buddy's there, uh, and it has to be someone that really is uh, uh, enthusiastic about it, as you are, or even more. I always, when I did a lot of working out at gyms and things, I'd, I'd work out at home now. But when I was younger, I always made sure it was somebody who was stronger than me or had. Uh, bigger muscles and his calves were bigger than mine so I could get calves like that or uh, you know uh, when I was lifting heavy whoever lifted more than me I wanted to go hang out with them and lift more and have them as my partner uh, so that's the fourth thing is to get a good buddy uh, and the fifth thing is the very important start with what you have today go ahead and do it if you know one song make the best video you can of that song Put that out on YouTube. Uh, record that song as best you can. Go to CD Baby or Distro Kid or one of these other things. You can type in uh, uh, Ari Herstand, A R I H E R S T A N D. Uh, he has a uh, really good blog about music. He's a musician and he has a, a lot of uh, information about the uh, people that will help. Get your music out there. It's a small fee, but you pay them to get them out. And then you're going to also join either BMI or ASCAP uh, and then uh, SoundCloud. But you read his articles about how to get started. Uh, you can do it very uh, effectively, cost effectively. But mainly get your music out there. Uh, a sound Exchange, start, sorry, SoundCloud is a different thing. You can put it on SoundCloud too. Sound Exchange helps you get paid. You might need to go set up an LLC and set up a bank account, but you know, that's, you could probably do all that for under $250, and every, anybody can afford that. 
If you have a phone, you can afford $250. Just eat a little less or, or don't go out as much and do your $250. Don't spend $20 on a McDonald's, you know, uh, you know, 20 times and you have your money, way more money than you need. 10 times you have probably enough money. Uh, but start today with what you have. Don't wait until it's perfect. That's the worst thing because it'll never be good enough. Do the best you can, honestly, the best you can. Now, if you don't even have a skill, don't do it. If you can't, if you have a solo in your music, you can't quite play it, don't do it. Get a friend to do it. Uh, don't do the solo. Take it out. Put it in MIDI. Uh, but whatever you can do, get yourself together. And if it's going to take a month, put a deadline. I'm going to do this in a month and practice, practice, practice. Uh, but start today with what you have. Most people have a couple songs, so start writing songs. Start writing one song a week. Uh, if you are into basketball, go play a pickup game a week with somebody. Uh, start saving money for a camp. You want to be an actor? Start saving money for uh, to move, go to New York for a summer or to L.A. or to Chicago or to a big place like that. Tell your relatives that this is your dream. You don't want any gifts. You want money that you're going to put in an account and use it for that. Uh, you know, uh, you don't get big birthday and Christmas presents. Tell your parents instead of that, give you the money, put it in an account for you to do. Let them know you're serious. Go get a little part-time job and do that. Uh, but start today. Start uh, doing the best you can. If you want to be an actor, go act. Act in anything. If there's nothing out there to audition for, make something up. Your church might need drama. Uh, you can make up a little drama thing and go to the schools and present that. Uh, you can present after school. You can do teach-ins at school and do drama. Uh, sing for them. Play your instrument. Uh, if you like engineering, calculus, uh, look at universities and see if they have any outreach programs. See when the uh, professors are speaking or giving a paper or a lecture and go watch it. Uh, call up the office and say, I'm very interested in medicine. Who gives lectures on medicine that I can come, I'd love to sit in. Go to their office hours, send them an email and say, hi, I'm interested in being a doctor, I'm interested in being a lawyer. Uh, can I come in and talk to you and ask you some questions? Uh, go shadow a lawyer, but uh, start today. Start that today, everything, every day you get up, say, what's one thing I can do and that you're putting yourself out there. Don't just go and plan. That, you know, I mean, do something. Make a video. Uh, write something out and put it on your blog. Put it on your Facebook. Get yourself a Facebook and Instagram. And I would do a Twitch, too, if you uh, are into any kind of music. Uh, but those are the big ones, and do that. And uh, see what people are doing out there and start and do something now. Uh, and that kind of goes into my bonus, which is uh, put it out there as is, make a plan and, and do it. So make a plan, uh, say this week I'm going to say I'll make my plan, and don't plan to climb Mount Everest. Say I'm going to plan to go to a rock climbing place uh, within 50 miles of my city, where I live or in my city, and start climbing a rock. Tell them I want to be a beginner, what do I do? Uh, call them up and find out what you need uh, if you want to be a rock climber. Uh, but immerse yourself in that. Uh, that's really the, the best bonus. Get immersed in what you want and if you don't like it, you see, you haven't wasted anything. What you've done is learned a lot about yourself and all the skills and things you've done, you've learned you can now apply to something else. You also will gain confidence in doing something uh, in doing something that you haven't done before. So let's go down that list again. You're going to one, join a class or take some lessons, get some tutoring, learn your craft. Then you're going to continue to learn the rest of your career. Two is tell everyone who listen what you're doing and announce it. Three is a uh, let them know what you're doing right now. So get on social media, uh, write a blog, uh, you name it. You can do all these things for free. You can almost start a website for free. And in some places you can do a, a free website. Uh, and you can do an app. Uh, do an app and throw it out there. Uh, do a YouTube channel. That's free. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Those are the three ones. Twitch, 
you know, Twitter, you can do TikTok, you can do those things. Uh, and announce what you're doing right now. Uh, so what is it I'm going to be doing? Where am I going to be performing? Uh, I'm going to see a lecture. What am I doing here? Get a buddy or meet up with a core group of people that are like-minded and get yourself involved with them and go do things. If you like astronomy, go to the local planetarium. Meet up with people who have a telescope and look. A lot of these folks are retired or older. They've been in a certain field or they're just hobbyists and now they have the money and the time to really put into it. And you can gain from that knowledge. You can go meet with them, talk to them. Uh, you know, they have, if you love, love astronomy, they meet and look at stuff. You can look at their expensive telescopes there. And then you know what telescope you need to buy. And sometimes if you want to buy equipment, they might have some older equipment they'll sell you for cheap. Uh, so uh, you get that money, get the group. Get, get your money together, get in with that group, and, and do those things you like. The fifth one is start today with what you have. Go ahead and get it out there. Uh, and if it's not quite right, set yourself a definite time limit. Get it right and get it out there. And bonus is, you know, uh, you do the best you can now and make it better as you go along. Uh, so uh, don't be scared to, to get out there and do it. The more you do, the less scared you'll be. Don't think, overthink things. Just get out there and do it. So that's my five ways to get started in anything. It's been a little bit of a short blog this week, but uh, I did want to get something down. We're all kind of crushed for time with this coronavirus, uh, but I will do something a little bit uh, better next time. I'll have some reviews of some equipment. I think I'm just going to review some of the equipment I have and have used, and that way if you uh, uh, want to start with that, uh, it'll start. Also, if anybody out there has equipment they want review, give me some comments. Love to hear about what's going on in your life. Uh, let me know what you think about the blog, if there's any questions you want me to answer, if there's anything I didn't get into fully enough. Uh, let me know those things. I'd love to hear that feedback. So we'll see you next week. Uh, quiz the Music Man. Get those questions in. Uh, questions about music, about learning music, about performing music, about being a professional or about life in general. I'll do the best I can. And if I don't know it, I'll tell you that and I'll, I'll let you know some places to find some information about it. Tony Underwood Music, I'm all over the place. I'm Spotify, YouTube, CD Baby, uh, Pandora, you name it, I'm there. Uh, Google it. Uh, so until next week, have a good one and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.